There was a shocking moment on the pitch in Spain. Fans in Madrid taunted superstar player Vinicius Jr. with racist chants. It got so bad, so loud, the match had to be stopped until the crowd settled down. The Brazilian footballer was later ejected after fighting with a striker. The question is, why was no one punished for the racist chants? Joining me now is Uri Levy. He's a journalist. He's also the founder of Baba Gold. Uri, what exactly happened here? Yeah, so the match between Real Madrid and Valencia, traditionally a heated match in Spanish football, was interrupted after a Valencia fan chanted a very, I would say, Unpleasant, disgusting, and horrifying. I mean, let's say racist. What, they called him a monkey. On a the monkey, pitch. mono. Mono in, in Spanish is is a monkey, uh, and it's a traditional racist call that we 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 are familiar football people familiar with uh, from Latin America from back in the 60s and the 70s, and. Uh, unfortunately also in Spanish football today. Uh, now it's not the first time that Vinicius is facing uh, such re reaction. He's one of the best players in the world at the moment. He's having, you know, one of the, probably his best season ever. And and he's also, I, I would say, as an outgoing personality. He right. likes to face those uh, calls, the, those rest, racist chants, and answer afterwards. them. He, yes. Afterwards, he came out and said a very, a very heartfelt Instagram post. Yes, he wrote on Instagram that uh, as I said, it's not the first or the second time. It's this is what's happening in La Liga, and he's very sad that a league that was once uh, symbolized by Ronaldinho, Ronaldo Fenomeno, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Lionel Messi is now identified with racism in the stands. Um, now, you know this this message that he spread on Instagram made huge uh, headlines all over the world. Kylian Mbappe, also another notable footballer, shared this message, and I. I think that overall, throughout the football world, Vinicius enjoyed the great support for his uh, for his uh, stance in the in the matter. But we we need to say it, you know, uh, in a certain point, the normal uh, racism protocols and the normal uh, punishment process for racist chants against footballers of color and uh, of different backgrounds, whether it's you know could be black and uh, Arab or whatever, um, has to change. Because because there is a, there is I think a root rooted problem that I think the the people that manage football in Spain in UEFA the European right. Association and FIFA the World Football Governing Body are they are not hurt directly by racism they don't know what it is they don't lose money exactly so therefore yeah, there's no way exactly. to make a difference. I, think, make a difference. I think the next step will be the players such as Vinicius with all the power he has on his Instagram accounts and Kylian Mbappé and other notable players will say we are not standing in line with this we are not cooperating with the advertisers and at the moment that this big football organization will feel it in the in the you know in their pocket in their wallets they will understand there is no room for racism in 2023 and let's be honest doesn't matter the year number these it's need to be you know out of sports most definitely and fast as can. Well, hopefully they'll make a change after all of this. So really, thank you very much for, for joining sure. me. Thank you again.